Dear learners, welcome back to another video on research methodology. I am Lisna Jos. In this video, we will be covering an important topic in a research methodology that is variables. The variable from the word itself, we will get a meaning. That means variable is something that varies. In other words, we can say it is a measure that can change from observation to observation or variables are properties or characteristics or attributes of some event or object or person that can take different values or amount and some examples of variables are height weight mark opinion perception of people etc then there are different types of variables are available in research. They are dependent and independent variable, extraneous variable, continuous variable and discrete variable, intervening variable, dichotomous variable and finally categorical variable. We will see each type of variable in detail. First we move on to the dependent and independent variable i will explain this type of variable with the help of an example so we move on to the example suppose you decided to purchase a mobile phone of um, any brand so before you finalize your decision okay i will purchase a particular brand name x definitely you will go for some factors and that factors may include like advertisement, family, friends, recent trends, technological aspect, some kind of discount, then features like the camera or battery backup or some customer service, after sale service. So these are some of the factors definitely you will go for. So here then after you uh, analyzing these factors you will finally decide okay i will purchase this particular brand so these factors that means these factors will affect your decision of purchasing a mobile phone so here this factors is considered as an independent variable while your purchase decision is act as a dependent variable that means this independent variable act as a cause that leads to the your purchase decision of mobile phone i mean i think it, this concept is clear to you so independent variable it also called as cost variable or predictor variable and this is one variable which is being manipulated in an experiment to observe the change in dependent variable and moving to the dependent variable that is the effect variable in a research that can be measured and this is one variable that is being tested in an experiment now we move on to the second type of variable that is extraneous variable so here we will take the first example itself suppose you are going to do a research work on the topic how advertisement influence the purchasing behavior of mobile phone among youth so here advertisement is act as an independent variable and your purchasing decision is act as the dependent variable so here we considered only two aspects or so two variables that means your purchase decision as well as the advertisement but you are not at all bothered about the other factors so this other factors is considered as an extraneous variable i will give you another example suppose in a study the researcher want to test a hypothesis that there is a relationship between student mark in a subject and the learning environment so here learning environment is act as an independent variable and the mark of a student in a subject is act as a dependent variable but we all know that the intelligence will also affect the marks of a student am i right yes but since this study is only focusing on 
the learning environment and its effect on the mark of a student and we are not at all concerned about the intelligence part. So here the intelligences act as an extraneous variable. I hope this concept is clear to you. So moving to the next type of variable that is continuous variable and discrete variable. So a phenomenon or a concept that can take different quantitative values even a decimal part is called as continuous variable. For example, if we say my height is 160.5. So instead of saying 160 or 161, we can say 160.1, 160.2, 160.3. So like this we can express our height. So this is what a continuous variable. But at the same time, Suppose we are saying that the total number of students in my class is 60.5. Can we say like that? No. We can say either it is 60 or 61. We can't say 60.5. So this is what a discrete variable. So discrete variable means those variable that can be expressed in terms of integral value or in terms of integers. So this is what the basic difference between a continuous variable and a discrete variable. In continuous variable we can express in a decimal point also but in the case of discrete variable we can only express in terms of integers. No decimal part can be possible. Then moving to the next type of variable that is called intervening variable. Okay, I will explain this intervening variable with the help of an example. Suppose we say that higher education is typically leads to higher income. So here higher education is act as a independent variable and the higher income is act as a dependent variable. But here occupation has an important role, right? So Occupation is acting as an intervening variable between education and income. That means if you have more education that will lead to a better job and that will finally lead to a higher income. So something that is act in between independent variable and dependent variable is called intervening variable. So in our example occupation was an intervening variable between higher education and higher income. Then we move on to the next type of variable that is dichotomous variable. So dichotomy means that has two parts. We, when we say like for every aspect there is a two side that is positive and negative. So just like that dichotomous means something which is divided into two parts. For example, um, if I ask a question or if you ask a question to a respondent that do you have a mobile phone or do you have a laptop? So definitely the answer can be either yes or no. So only two possibilities are there. So this is what a dichotomous variable. Then we move on to the last set of variable that is called categorical variable and it includes nominal variable as well as ordinal variable. So nominal variable means uh, those variable in which a researcher can categorize or classify into different group. The important thing is that there is no order or no direction. In any way the researcher can classify that. For example, uh, if you want to classify a blood group or a marital status or a gender, is there any prescribed uh, order for that? No. For marital status, we can say either married or unmarried. There is no order or distance or anything like that. But coming to ordinal variable or suppose if you want to um, express the marks obtained by a student in a class. So it can be expressed for a uh, highest to lowest or from lowest to highest or from good 
to average or highest so there are number of possibilities are there so in the case of ordinal variable the important thing is that ranking is possible that can be done from in ascending order or descending order or from highest to lowest etc so this are the basic difference between a nominal variable and a ordinal variable in nominal variable the classification is possible but there is no order for that but in the case of ordinal variable we can classify based on a rank that means from highest to lowest or from good to bad for example suppose uh, you have three books available with you so book a b and c then the respondent can give a rank for that that means the book b uh, the rank is 1 for book c the rank is 3 and for book a is rank 1 so in this way we can rank so these are some of the various variables that is available in a research i think this concept is clear to you and we will see you in the next video till then keep learning thank you